In this video, we're going to do a drag build on the new Mustang SVO and then hear my thoughts on it. Let's get into it. Launch it. Oh, it didn't spin whatsoever. That is so impressive. Wow. So what's really interesting about this Mustang SVO is simply the fact that this actually has a turbo four cylinder in it. And now a lot of newer muscle cars will come with turbo four cylinders, V6s. So, you know, this is more common now, but you know, it's kind of interesting because at the time a muscle car always had a V8 in it. So it's very revolutionary. I think in the fact that this is really what introduced the idea that look, a muscle car can actually have a turbo four cylinder. And I think the main reason for them doing so was also to save cost, but to actually have a really nimble and pretty well handling car because the Mustang SVO, I mean, granted, it's not like a Porsche, but it is a pretty good step in the, in the right direction to actually have muscle cars start handling very well. But in this video, I'm still going to want to go ahead and do a drag build on it. But just driving it stock here, it actually sounds very good. Like I'm a, I'm a fan of the exhaust note. And you know, I think it's cool because not everything has to have a V8. I think it's still a very fun car. And I think it definitely looks good. I like that little like double spoiler it has going on just even in stock form. I mean, I think definitely for 1986, this is a good looking car. So let's go ahead and customize this car and see what we can do with it. My name is Nikolai and this is Joyshift. I like to film and build cool cars in Forza Horizon 5. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can always be the first one to watch new videos. We're gonna learn a whole lot about cars, we're gonna customize them, we're gonna drive them and just have a lot of fun with them. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So SVO actually stands for Special Vehicle Operations and I feel like with this car, the main concept behind it was the fact that you can push a lot of power out of a small displacement motor, which was pretty impressive for the time. That's really what we've seen recently with a lot of modern cars, but for 1986 to have the car push this much power out of a very small motor is quite interesting. So let's go ahead and head over into our customization. So first let's go over to conversions. So you can put a lot of different motors into this car. We can do like a 6.2 liter V8, a 6.7 V8, just an 8.4 liter V10. That would be pretty insane. And then a 1.6 liter inline four, but we're just gonna go ahead and leave the factory motor in here because I wanna see just how much power we can push out of it. And then we can also all wheel drive swap it, um, but I don't wanna do any of that. I wanna keep it true to its form. And then for visuals, I'm not really a fan of that front bumper. And then for the spoiler, that's kind of, I mean, that's fine, but I don't really like it. Um, I definitely do like the factory spoiler the most. I think honestly, the two spoilers just looks pretty cool. And then for side skirts, we can actually just put on some mud flaps. I don't really want to go ahead and do that. I don't think any of that actually looks good. So let's go ahead and head over into our drivetrain. We can upgrade the clutch and then we can also do, let's go ahead. Ooh, let's do a race transmission for the car. And then we're going to do a race drive line. And then also for our diff, we're going to do a race diff as well. Now let's go ahead and head over into our handling. So we can do our big brake kit for springs and dampers. Let's go ahead and toss the race springs and dampers on there. I think that'll really do well for what we need. And then we can also do anti-roll bars just because why not? And then roll cage. Let's go ahead and toss a roll cage in here since we are going to be doing a drag build with the car. So let's also do weight reduction. This thing should be pretty fast. I'm also very curious how much power we can push out of this inline four because, you know, typically we don't see a, a motor like this in these cars. Usually we have V8. So it's very interesting to see, can we do a drag build out of the four cylinder? So let's go ahead and listen to all of the exhausts. You know, I'll be honest, I'm actually a fan of the stock exhaust the most. I don't think I like the other ones. Maybe the race exhaust. Let's go ahead and toss the race exhaust on there just because I feel like I can hear it a little bit better, but I think the tone of the stock exhaust might actually sound better. Um, so let's see what we're sitting at, 342 so far. Let's see, I'm, I'm very curious, after we upgrade the turbo, how much will we see? Can we at least get to 500? I think that'll be a good number. Oh yeah, we're well above it. We we'll definitely reach 600 and I think that's a good optimal number. Yeah, 604, that's plenty for what we need. So I think this is definitely gonna have plenty. And then for tires, of course, we're gonna have to go ahead and toss the drag tire on there. And then let's go ahead and leave it skinnies in the front and then go for the widest. So we can toss a 345 in the rear. That's quite interesting. And now let's go ahead and choose a wheel. So I'm not really sure which direction I wanna take this, but that actually looks really good. I'm not, I was not expecting that right there. Um, you know what, let's actually just go ahead and toss those on there. I think that looks pretty cool right there. Um, and then we can make them bigger, but I don't really want to do that. And then let's adjust our fitment. So yeah, that looks really good actually. I like this look a lot, wow. 
this is a good looking car. You know what? I think definitely something interesting is this car previously that, you know, the previous years of this version, um, it had like a little indentation in the headlights. So now they're actually smooth. Um, so it's really a good looking car. I think this definitely is a sleek car, but let's go ahead and take this car for a drive and see how it feels. So here we are outside with the Mustang SVO and we're going to take it for a drive, but let's first go ahead and look at this thing. So I think it's a pretty interesting design. You know, I think it definitely um is unique um I, i'm definitely a fan of the fox body i think it's a good looking car and you know i think for the time it definitely looked pretty good but let's go ahead and drive the car around so it is running about 600 horsepower which is quite a lot considering this is coming out of a four cylinder but i'm actually surprised so oh wow this thing's actually pretty grippy so being on drag tires i'm not expecting it to be too good at cornering yeah it's definitely understeering a lot but we'll see how it is because it is still you know this the concept behind this mustang svo is that it would be a better car for handling and just being able to push a lot of power out of a small displacement motor let's see i mean i want to actually go in and set this up and see just how much grip we can push out of this thing like will it even spin we'll see how it feels because i'm very curious you know can this car do everything can it be you know good for cornering can it be good for drag just really depends on how you set it up because right now pushing it through these corners it actually feels pretty good and it actually, I mean, it is understeering slightly, but that's not too bad. Definitely is not like a Porsche GT3, but it's definitely, for what it is, it's actually pretty good at cornering. And I feel like this would be a very fun car to just cruise around in. And I'm definitely enjoying it here so far. Let's check out the interior. So definitely, you could tell it's a little bit of a dated design, but you know what? I think it does look fine. It's definitely, it's, it looks pretty good. You know, respect, respectfully, I think it's, I think it's a good looking interior. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely finding it is understeering a lot, but that's probably 100% due to the fact that it is on drag tires so we we'll definitely need to take it to the drag strip and see just how grippy this thing is and see what kind of you know what kind of acceleration we can get out of this the sound is also really nice like i'm actually a huge fan of the way four cylinders sound i'm also very much into jdm cars so i'm definitely a very huge fan of this exhaust note but you know what i mean nothing beats a v8 i guess but it's still for what it is it sounds pretty good and yeah i like i like the way this car handles actually it's quite a fun feeling car um, just, just pushing it through these corners. It's definitely definitely interesting. You have to definitely get used to it, but it's definitely, I like it a lot. You know, it's it's a fun car. And since it says Forza, it can literally just be a rally cross car, even though it's totally not meant for it whatsoever. But you know, that's why I love Forza Horizon. All right, so now let's go ahead and see what we can do with the Mustang SVO here. And we're gonna go ahead and launch this thing. Oh, just, I mean, it spun for just like a split second and then it goes, look at that. Already to 100, that, that is quite impressive. You know what? I'm very impressed by this car. I think this is definitely a very good car. And I would 100% recommend this to everyone. Try it out if you have the car pass in Horizon 5. Let's see if I can actually get a better launch this time. I'm not going to rev it up so high. Let's see. Let's try around 3000 RPM and then launch it. Oh, it didn't spin whatsoever. That is so impressive. Wow. Okay. So for the fact that it can launch from 3000 and not spin at all, that is, that is quite impressive. I'm very impressed by this car. Oh, and then, okay, there we are getting beat by a truck, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Maybe if we put, a, you know, the V8 in here, it would become a lot faster, but regardless, I really do like this car, and if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see many more videos just like this one on the channel, please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because we're going to have a whole lot of other fun videos just like this one. We'll see you in the next one.